Hi, this is Nick Mouse with Center Point High School talking to you today about Project 2020. Project 2020 is a partnership between Center Point High School and UA Casa Todd. Uh, UA Casa Todd is a two year college located in Bequeen, Arkansas. They have campuses in Bequeen, Nashville, and Ashdown, and they are part of the uh, University of Arkansas system based out of Fayetteville. What's the goal of Project 2020? Uh, it's to have at least eight of our students, eight Center Point students, graduate in May 2020 with both a high school diploma and an associate's degree through UA Casa Top. Um, a lot of you have probably heard of um, an associate of arts degree or an associate of science degree, but this is an associate of general studies degree. And basically, it's a it's, it's your basics is what, is what it's typically referred to. It's a, it's a set of core classes that almost every four-year college requires for a bachelor's degree, a four-year degree. It's the halfway point. So what's the timeline for students in this type of program? Uh, it's best to look at it from, from uh, I'll start with the traditional view. Um, typically, a kid goes through high school, uh, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade uh, years. Then they'll enter a college program, uh, either an associate's degree program or a bachelor's degree program. Uh, sometimes there's an associate's degree uh, in between in between high school and a bachelor's degree. Typically, most of the time, a kid will just enter college, um, and, and it'll, it'll lead to a four-year bachelor's degree. But this is, this is um, a, a fairly traditional route that a student may go um, may go through. What I'm calling this one is an accelerated route. Basically what we'll do is we'll take the associate's degree and of course they'll be taking those associate's degree classes um, during high school. So we'll, we'll layer that over their high school their high school um, credits and that will lead to a bachelor's degree um, even even earlier for those kids who want to who want to take this challenge. So how much will it cost? Um, that's typically the very first question I get when I'm talking to parents about this. Uh, there is absolutely zero cost to parents and students. The Center Point School District will pay for this uh, full tuition, fees, books, any resources we need uh, for, for your students. We'll pay for them out of, it's called NSL funds. Um, the cost breakdown, if you're in interested in that, um, year one through Constantine uh, will be for 10 hours, will be $815. And of course, tuition, we, we anticipate that it will rise. So this will this will do nothing but go up. But a total cost uh, through the three-year program for uh, for your student, uh, again, paid for by the district, will be a little over $3,100. So what does 60 hours cost? How big of a value um, are you getting if, you're, if your student enters this program? Well, here, here are the, are the um, tuition rates um, based on 60 hours at their current tuition rate for the uh, for six public universities in Arkansas. These, these numbers are readily available. On their websites, um, and yeah, these are these are great great universities. We have teachers at Center Point High School who um, who have graduated from from these from these universities. One, at least one represented by at each of these universities. Great universities. Um, what we're trying to do is save you a little bit of money and, and give your student, uh, if they so choose, a head start on earning a degree through one of these universities. So, will the hours gained through Project Twenty Twenty? transfer to a four-year college. Well, under Act 747 of 2011, the courses that your student takes uh, to make up an associate's degree will transfer to any four-year university in Arkansas. Um, in order to, gra to guarantee transfer of hours, students must finish the entire 60 block of classes. That's very important. Um, you, you can't get halfway or three-fourths of the way through this program um, and, and say, well, I think that's enough. I'll just transfer those 54 hours. Uh, to Henderson or to UCA or to U of A or whatever. Um, it doesn't doesn't typically work like that. Um, to get the full benefit of this, you must finish the, the entire 60 block, uh, 60 hour block of classes. And students and parents uh, should visit acts.adhe.edu to make sure that the course is transferred to the cho chosen college. And again, typically with, with these four year universities, um, it is legislated that they, that they do uh, transfer. So this is, this is a t this is a freshman year. Uh, this is what your um, what your student just finished taking. If you're the parent of a of a of a, of a sophomore entering this program, um, the freshman year for our our uh, students remains unchanged. It starts getting a little bit different in their sophomore year because again we're earning college hours, college credits toward an associate's degree. So anything um, in the pink, the reddish color there, those are UA Costa classes and. Uh, you won't see any green classes yet in their sophomore year, but those will be through Arkansas Tech. This, this partnership actually covers um, UA Constant and Arkansas Tech, and I'll explain that in just a few minutes. But during your fall semester, 
your students will take, again, English 10 or pre-AP English 10, biology, uh, geometry, algebra 2. They have room for two electives. This could be athletics, FFA, um, facts class, business class, um, any number of electives that we offer. So we do, we do leave two spots for elective. Then they will take principles of speech and walking for fitness through UA Cossetot. In the spring, again, because high school classes are year-long classes, those, those classes will stay the same. English, geometry, biology are two electives, which the electives may change depending on, um, depending on the elective they chose the first semester. Um, but in the spring semester, uh, that student will transition out of principles of speech and walking for fitness into Arkansas history um, and CPR first aid and health, again, through UA Cossetot. So they will finish their um, sophomore year of high school with 10 hours of college credit. In their junior year, um, students will, will, in the fall semester, will take two classes through UA Constantine and two classes through Arkansas Tech University. Uh, general Biology, Macroeconomics through UA Constantine, Comp 1, and U.S. History 1976 through Arkansas Tech University. And then in the spring, uh, they'll pick up Geology, through UA Constantine, Intro to Fine Arts through UA Constantine, Comp 2 in U.S. History uh, since 1876 through Arkansas Tech University. For senior year, uh, st again, still room for electives in, in all of these years, so still room for, for athletics, um, FFA, things of that nature. Uh, senior year, uh, again, two more, two more classes, World Lit and General Psych, uh, in the fall semester through UA Constantine, Again, two more classes through Arkansas Tech University, College of Algebra, and World Seal. And then in the spring of their senior year, World Lit, uh, the second half of that class, Intro to Sociology, Success Strategies, all again through UA Constantine, and World Seal 2 through Arkansas Tech University. So you may be asking, can my child do this? Well, first of all, let, let me be clear that this is not for everyone. Uh, the ideal student is organized, self-motivated, aware of deadlines, and ambitious. And you may be thinking right now that, that your child can do this, and that's great. We want we want as many um, as we can possibly get into this program. Should my child do this? Uh, I really think it's a great opportunity to earn college credit in an environment that is comfortable and not intimidating. But again, it's not it isn't for every student um, out there. Here's some some. Some typical questions that I've been getting when I, when I talk about this um, in parent meetings and then um, out in the community. Can my child still play sports or take agri or facts? Um, yes, students can still choose athletics as an elective. Students have room in their schedules for two electives, um, except for the junior year in high school. In the junior year, there is only room for one elective. And that's, that's just the, 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 the typical uh, nature of the beast, I guess. Um, it, gets, it gets a little crowded there the junior year. Can my child substitute a different class for one of the classes enlisted? Um, so again, this question goes back to can, I don't, my child really doesn't want to take macroeconomics. Can he or she take a different class? Um, the answer to that is no. This is a block of classes and to ensure that everyone stays on track and to provide for a true cohort feel with this group of kids. Again, we want them to go through uh, this entire process together as a, as a group. Um, we, we can't allow that. So if my child quits the program, does he still get college hours? For the classes that he took, yes, those those college hours are his. But a college in Arkansas, um, any college, is under no obligation to accept him as part of a degree plan, and that needs to that needs to be at the forefront of your thought process if you're considering allowing your child to, to quit the program. So, what happens if my child begins the program and decides he wants to quit? Well, we pull the student from the program and enroll him in traditional, regular high school classes. Um, once a student leaves the program, he cannot re-enter because of um, just the whole the whole nature of the beast as far as he would be out of out of sync out of out of the timeline um, but as long as he quits the program that semester he will still be on track to graduate so it won't, it won't push him um, out of compliance with high school graduation requirements will I owe any money if my child quits the program this is something we've talked about um, ideally of course we want everyone who signs up and who starts the program to finish the program but uh, will you owe any money if your child quits? Possibly. If your child was giving a good faith effort and simply could not perform at an appropriate level, no reimbursement will be required. Um, if your child fails um, uh, for whatever reason, because of a lack of effort, we do ask that you will re that you reimburse the district the tuition that we paid for it. Another question. So I know that the classes are online. Again, I haven't really talked about this, but all classes. 
um, are, are online. That they are considered distance learning. Um, of course, we have we have one to one uh, computers, a computer for every every student at Sarah Point High School. So these classes will be taken online, as are a lot of classes at um, at two year and four year colleges now across the state and across the nation. But um, but, but the question is, where will students be when they are taking the classes? Well, students will be in the distance learning lab under the supervision of Ms. Sims. They will all be there. Um, all their schedules will be will be identical. They will, they will take the classes together and then be able to, uh, to work together through these classes. So do the grades that the students earn in these classes count as their grades in college? Yes. If a student earns a B in a college class, that grade counts toward the student's GPA in high school and in college. So what happens if my student needs tutoring in these classes? Well, these are college classes taught by college instructors. I, I need to stress that again. These are college classes taught by college instructors. Now, they will be taking these classes at the same time as, as, as other students, as traditional age college students. Um, so again, your, your, your 16 year old student, 15 in some cases, I guess, uh, will, will be taking classes, again, virtually on a computer online with students who may be 25, 45, um, 50 year old college students. But the student will be responsible for emailing the instructor in order to receive receive additional tutoring. Another question I've been getting, so if, we, if we're taking these, if my, my child is taking these college classes, well what regular high school classes will my child not be taking? So uh, the column on the left is, is those are the traditional high school classes, classes that students will take if they are not part of Project 2020. The column on the right, that's the class they will take if they are part of Project 2020. They will replace the class on the left. So a typical student takes oral communication that's required from the state of Arkansas, from the Arkansas Department of Education. Um, every kid who leaves Center Point High School must have taken and passed oral communication. It's a semester class. Um, the substitute class is principles of speech that, that your child will take in the, the very first year of the, of, of the program. Um, a regular high school class, world history, typically at Center Point High School, our 10th graders take world history. Well, the substitute class for that will be World Seals 1 and 2. Those, those two classes will take the place of it. Um, every, every student has to take physical education at Center Point High School. A semester of that, walking for fitness at UA Costant takes the place of that, and so on and so forth. Um, down to the bottom of chart there. If you have other questions, I would invite you to, to email me, um, nick.mounts at gonites.us, that's n-i-c dot m-o-u-n-t-s at gonites.us, or call me, 870-356-3612, that's the office number here at the high school, or stop by. Uh, I, I'm, I can almost always accommodate you unless I have, uh, have something else going on, but I would love to talk to you about about the possibility of your child enrolling in this um, program in subsequent years. I think this is a great opportunity for our students to take advantage of, of basically free college. And I, I, I know that someone has to pay for it. We're going to pay for that um, for you. Our, our school board has been gracious enough to allocate those funds to pay for this. I think it's a great program. I think our students are going to benefit from this. And I really hope that in May of 2020, I really hope that we have eight students um, who walk across the stage at Center Point High School um, to get their high school diploma who have already earned an Associate of General Studies degree through UA Constantine. Thank you for listening. Again, if you need to contact me, um, you may do so at your convenience. I look forward to, to hearing from you and uh, answering your questions. Thank you.